duo fish. Let's make one thing abundantly clear. There is no shortage of things on this earth that can kill humans with relative ease. There are substances deadly in microscopic amounts and can come from unexpected places or creatures. Some of them are even present nearly everywhere. Number 15. Strychnine. This alkaloid is twice as deadly as sodium cyanide and has an LD50 of 2 to 6 milligrams for unfortunate laboratory mice, which amounts to an LD50 of around 100 milligrams for humans. Consumption of strychnine can lead to death by asphyxiation in as little as 30 minutes as muscles in the body clench involuntarily. Strychnos nux vomica is the tree that produces strychnine and is native to southern Asia and everything about the tree, from the bark to the seeds, is quite poisonous. I'd like to imagine that the Strychnos nux vomica is the tree that would be found in the sequel to The Giving Tree which follows our hero, Nux vomica, avenging his friend The Giving Tree from the first book by calling over that selfish douche of an old man who killed The Giving Tree and saying, Hey man, I was best friends with The Giving Tree. Take these orange fruits. They'll totally revitalize you so you can go on taking advantage of other talking trees. And then the old man eats the fruit and dies because it's a strychnine tree fruit. Ain't no one mess with the strychnine trees, friends. Ain't no one. Number 14. Aflatoxin B1. The LD50 of aflatoxin is 2 to 3 milligrams per kilogram, which means it should take around 100 milligrams to kill most human adults. But there is a second danger when concerning this toxin, that being that it is also arguably the most potent carcinogen known. Okay, this sounds like a toxin straight out of science fiction, but it actually comes in the form of a certain fungal species usually found growing on rotting legumes, such as peanuts. So if you happen upon a peanut with yellow-green mold on it, don't touch or eat it. It can actually give you acute hepatitis and will either destroy your liver or make sure to give it cancer out of spite. The material safety data sheet is littered with the word cancer and fatal when describing this poisonous crystal. So, please avoid it at all costs. Number 13. Cantharidin. Cantharidin has an LD50 of 0.5 milligrams per kilogram, with amounts as small as 10 to 50 milligrams reportedly being fatal to adult humans. So far, we've seen a killer tree and spiteful fungus. So, why not introduce an inflammatory beetle while we're at it? No matter where you live, you've probably at least seen a blister beetle once. And they've certainly earned their name as the cantharidin that they carry will leave painful blisters of coming into contact with the skin. So be sure not to squish one if it lands on you. The blister beetles themselves actually carry enough cantharidin to be potentially fatal if just a few of them are eaten. Which would be incredibly painful, as cantharidin causes death through the inflammation of the gastrointestinal and renal tracts. Number 12. Tetrododoxin. The LD50 of TTX, otherwise known as tetrodotoxin, is just 0.334 milligrams per kilogram, so just 26 milligrams is fatal to most adult humans, making TTX 100 times deadlier than sodium cyanide. TTX works to destroy cell function by taking away the nerve cell's ability to transfer signals, resulting in paralysis, asphyxiation, and death usually within 20 minutes to 10 hours. Many different types of marine animal species carry this toxin, including newts, blue-ringed octopi, and pufferfish. It should be known that TTX is not actually produced by the marine species themselves, but instead symbiotic bacteria that live with them. Number 11. Alpha Ammonitin. Alpha Ammonitin's LD50 is just 0.1 milligrams for rats, meaning that just a few milligrams are enough to be fatal to most human adults. This toxin is present in a few white mushroom species, specifically in the obviously named Death Cap and Destroying Angel. Just half a mushroom cap is enough to be potentially fatal to someone left untreated. The worst part is the lack of symptoms after consuming the mushrooms, as it takes 5 to 24 hours before any symptoms occur at all, which usually amounts to cramps and diarrhea, which eventually cease. Well, that doesn't sound so bad. Oh wait, there's more. At this point, stomach pumping is pointless and treatment options are limited. Uh-oh. After about 5 to 10 days, the liver and kidneys fail, leading to respiratory failure and eventually death. Those who manage to survive usually suffer from permanent liver damage. So don't go eating random mushrooms, kids! Number 10 PHTX3 
The LD50 of the venom that the Brazilian wandering spider carries is 0.134 mg per kilogram, so it can kill most humans at doses of just 11 mg. PHTX3, or Phonutria nigroventer toxin 3, is a neurotoxin found only in Brazilian wandering spiders and leads to the inability to control muscles, paralysis, and eventually death by asphyxiation. The deadliness of PHTX3 makes the Brazilian wandering spider the most venomous spider in the world. However, doses of the venom that the spider delivers are usually not deadly to adults as the fangs they have are designed for small prey. Though, when not hunting, these spiders like to hide in dark places which include banana trees, which sometimes land the aggressive spiders on the countertop of a family thousands of miles away. At that point, all bets are off, and it's the spider versus the world. Number 9 The Sea Wasp We've now reached toxins which have LD50s measured in microgram amounts. That's in millionths of a gram. This box jellyfish species tentacles have an LD50 of 40 micrograms per kilogram, making just 3 milligrams of their toxic sting enough to kill an adult human. The tentacles of the sea wasp can reach up to 3 meters long and are covered with millions of tiny darts with microscopic amounts of venom known as nidocytes. If significant enough, the sting can result in death after just 2 to 5 minutes of excruciating pain, usually due to cardiac arrest or asphyxiation. Though if you're ever in the area, you'll be lucky to know that wearing pantyhose or diving gear makes you invisible to the box jellyfish as chemicals located on your skin is what sets off their tentacles. I'm starting to think that a lot of sea life dislikes company. Number 8 Paradoxin No, this name isn't a clever play on words and is abbreviated as PDX, wasting all potential that the name had. In any case, the LD50 for Paradoxin is just 25 micrograms per kilogram, meaning that it only takes 2 milligrams to kill most adults, making this the deadliest toxin found in venomous reptiles. Yep. I said reptiles. Paradoxin and a plethora of other toxins are found in the venom of one of the most determined to kill stuff snakes in the world, the inland taipan. Paradoxin is yet another neurotoxin and works by destroying muscle control which leads to paralysis. The inland taipan lives only in the southeastern part of Australia, and when it wants to kill something, it will strike multiple times to envenom its prey as much as possible as it doesn't want to back down from a fight. In contrast to this, Many herpetologists who work with inland taipans say they are very docile snakes if handled correctly, only going all Rambo with their venom on food. Number 7 Ricin Here's a poison I'm sure most of you have already heard of. Ricin is a toxin that comes in the form of a protein and thus wreaks all kinds of havoc on very important functions in your body. Ricin's LD50 is just 22 micrograms per kilogram, meaning a grain of ricin the size of a salt crystal could kill a full-grown adult male. The castor bean plant is what produces the deadly poison, especially in its hard-to-digest seeds. Ricin inhibits ribosomal function in the body, which means it ceases the most fundamental functions of cell metabolism, obviously leading to death. Number 6 2378-tetrochlorodibenzodioxin I'm just going to go ahead and refer to it as TCDD from now on. TCDD has an LD50 of just 1 to 40 micrograms per kilogram. However, it's a little different from all the other toxins on the list. The method of action through which TCDD kills a person is by cancer such as lymphoma as it accumulates in the body and takes decades to finally break down. Not only does it cause cancer, but it also causes developmental problems that can result in birth defects as well. TCDD is a dioxin one of the many toxins found that seem to like accumulating in our bodies before eventually killing us with cancer. TCDD is one of the contaminants found in Agent Orange, which was used in Vietnam and resulted in thousands being exposed to TCDD, leading to a jump in cancers and birth defects. Number 5 Batrachotoxin The LD50 of this toxin is just 2 to 3 micrograms per kilogram, meaning that we're finally down to the weight of 1 70th of a human eyebrow hair. Not only is BTX a neurotoxin, but it also acts as a cardiotoxin just to make things interesting. Now your body can have a race to see what you die of first, asphyxiation or cardiac arrest. Remember those blister beetles we talked about earlier in the video? 
Well, a different type of beetle produces this toxin because it really doesn't want to interact with other living beings for some reason. That didn't stop a few birds and frogs though, and as a matter of fact, the poison dart frog utilizes this toxin that it obtains from those naughty beetles. Whenever prodded or feeling pain, the poison dart frog releases a white liquid through the pores on its back which contain the deadly toxin. Number 4 VX and Saren Why both? Well, they don't have the same exact LD50, with VX being the deadlier of the two, but considering they do essentially the same thing, I thought it would be boring to list the two very similar compounds separately. The LD50 of VX is 1 to 3 micrograms per kilogram, and Sarin 17 micrograms per kilogram, which is quite terrifying when you realize that both of these gases are man-made and undetectable by any sense. Once again we're dealing with neurotoxins, though these are quite fast acting when inhaled and result in paralysis of the lungs and death through asphyxiation. Only 20 years ago was a treaty signed in which countries promised that they would destroy their chemical weapon stores and only fight through more civilized means. Nuclear warheads, guns, and no scopes only. Number 3 Matotoxin Well, we've dealt with all kinds of animals, insects, and even fungi. Why not move on to a creature which produces the third deadliest toxin with an LD50 of just 0.13 micrograms per kilogram? Gambier discus toxicus is a species of dinoflagellate which for some reason feels the need to make this monstrosity of a molecule. Hardicus to pronouncicus isn't technically an animal at all. It actually belongs to a huge group of random weird organisms known as protists. In any case, matotoxin isn't like the other toxins in this video. It doesn't just cause paralysis. It actually triggers a cascade of cell death resulting in painful vomiting, muscle spasms, and organ failure. Chances are that you'll never have the misfortune to run into this tiny little killer though, as they live in temperate ocean waters and produce amounts of toxin too tiny to be deadly when alone. Number 2 Polonium-210 The LD50 of this isotope is 10 nanograms per kilogram. That's nanograms, meaning that just 10 billionths of a gram is enough to knock out 50% of mice. As for humans, an amount of 100 nanograms to 1 microgram is enough to kill an average person, making polonium-210 250,000 times more toxic than sodium cyanide. Polonium-210 acts as both a source of a lot of alpha radiation and a heavy metal that wreaks havoc on the human body, causing damage to DNA. There is only one recorded poisoning with polonium-210 to date and that is the interesting case of Alexander Litvinenko, who was a KGB spy that fled to the UK escaping persecution and sought political asylum before apparently working for MI6. In November of 2006, Alexander suddenly fell ill after a meeting with two former FSB agents, one of which most likely placed polonium in his tea and home while they were visiting. Alexander would later die as there is no antidote to poisoning with polonium-210. Number 1 botulinum toxin. With an insane LD50 of 1.3 to 2.1 nanograms per kilogram, botulinum is by far the deadliest toxin known to man as it only takes 100 to 164 nanograms to kill an adult human when injected, or about 10 times as much when inhaled. This makes botulinum toxin 5 to 10 million times deadlier than sodium cyanide. Clostridium, just small, unsuspicious bacteria are responsible for producing the deadliest toxin currently known to man along with three other toxins that are deadly to humans as well. The spores of these bacteria are found all over the world in soils and on your countertops, even after cleaning. Yes, arguably the deadliest creature ever spawned by nature is present everywhere. But why aren't we all dying due to the bacteria's toxin? Luckily, Clostridium are an anaerobic bacteria and can't grow in the presence of oxygen. Not only that, but the bacteria which produce the toxin are 20 times smaller than our own cells and produce less than nanograms of toxin at a time, which is why we get sick with botulism instead of just dying when coming into contact with them. Luckily for us, medical advancements have knocked the death rate of people infected with botulism down from 70% in the early 1900s to just 1-2% to today. 
Still, there is some concern that purified botulinum toxin could be used in a bioterrorist attack, in which case just a few grams could wipe out hundreds of millions of people. Have fun trying not to be paranoid with that knowledge. Till next video, adieu!